Right, man. First and foremost, we're going to say all praises be to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Lukakadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Bullstone and Shalom right. to the sincere elect. He's in the truth and faith through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Right, and, and me and this bro here over here was just, you know, speaking, you know, we were just going through a few, few things in the spirit. And it's like, you know, you've got like people in the truth who think, you know, it's about being a dark skin. You know, the, the most darkest person in the camp with the, the most biggest afro upon the earth. Mm -hmm. and, and, and and that means it's is like, well, well, what people don't understand is that our, our skin tone doesn't determine whether we are an Israelite or not, right? Because all the uh, nations, right, except the children of Esau have pigment, right? And it's like what what people need to understand is based upon the seed, right? And part of us being 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 cursed as a people, right? Is our seed being scattered amongst all people upon the earth? And on top of that, why does your skin tone matter if we are all going to be changed? Yeah. So that's a question to actually ask yourself. For, for, for everyone out there, you know, who's about being a black Hebrew Israelite, well, quick question to ask you is if it's all, you know, if it's all entirely about our skin tone. Why does it matter if we are all going to be changed? All right? Can you get that in, 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 in Numbers, yeah. Baba Bishar? Numbers, numbers, numbers yeah. first. This is Numbers chapter 1, verse 18. Yeah. And they assembled all the congregation together on the first day of the second month. Yeah. And they declared their pedigrees after their families by the house of their fathers. Uh, by the house of who? By the house of their fathers. Now, exactly. So, where you came from, and being established as a being a, being an Israelite was based on your father's line, right? For example, in a Revelation chapter seven, when it speaks about the hundred and forty-four thousand, it says what twelve thousand out of Judah, twelve thousand out of Reuben, twelve thousand out of Ephraim. Judah, Reuben, and Ephraim were what men, right? And 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 and, and those those men will foresee that being scattered. Mm -hmm. But but the the key strong points of understanding that isn't about your um, skin tone is that we've been scattered as a people and only the word was given only unto Israelites. Yeah. The word and his gospel was only given unto Israelites. So if a person looks like like this brother or so on and so forth, but he, he hears the word and believes, guess what? He it's an Israelite, you know, in truth, even me, me and this brother ain't on the 12 tribes chart, mm -hmm. you know, but, but that don't mean shit, because you know why, the, 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 the word, word was only given unto the 12 tribes of Israel. Yeah, I was going to say, hey, the scriptures say that um, a man's going to be known by his speech, right? Yep. So it's about the words that we speak, so what, what, are we, what are we really talking about, what, what, what do we understand? Because the Lord said in what? Psalms? I'll get that quickly. You've got your pocket. Let me get that in Psalms. In Psalms 147, verse yeah. 19, it says, He showed his word unto Jacob. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on. Now, who, who, who is Jacob? He's the forefather of the of Israel, and his name got changed to Israel. That's right. So, so when he shows his, 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 his actual word unto Jacob, it means the, 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 the Heavenly Father is dealing with the 12 tribes of Israel. Yeah. Right, go ahead. His statutes and his judgments onto Israel. Look, now, now if you you understand when the uh, older covenant took place in uh, Exodus chapter twenty-four, the actual blood was sprinkled upon the Israelites. Mm -hmm. You know, they actually got like a like a basin and and put put like a, you know in there and sprinkled it upon the twelve tribes. So. The the blood of of the the actual the the blood the, the blood of of, of 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 the covenant of the agreement was sprinkled on the twelve tribes of Israel because we made that agreement, right? So the word is what very specific. Very specific for a specific nation. Specific nation. Yep. 
and the understanding of that word. It That's says, it. It's given unto the elect of that nation. Yep. Yeah. It says, He have not dealt so with any nation. Yeah. And as for his judgments, they have not known them. Praise ye Yahweh Shmuel Shai. That's why when we obtain the law in a Deuteronomy four and six, it says, "This is your your wisdom and understanding in the sight, sight of, of the nations." nations. Yeah. If a thing has been it being done, you know, in a person's sight, yeah. it means the the person who sees it isn't involved. Yeah. But he sees it. He sees it happening. Yeah. This is um. It says in that same scripture. Or who, who as a people have a God so near so, unto them? So near unto them. Yeah. You know, oh, get uh, Exodus 29 and 45. This is um, Exodus. Twenty-nine and forty-five. It says, And I will dwell among the children of Israel and will be their God. Go ahead. And they shall know that I, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, their God, their God, that brought them forth out of the land of Egypt, yeah. that I may dwell among them. Yeah. I am the Lord, their God. I am Yahweh Bashem Yahweh So, in that verse alone, he, he established three to four times yep. that I am specifically the power of the twelve tribes of Israel. Right. So, so that's why it says in um, Amos, you only. Have I, I have I known of all the nations upon the earth, meaning we are the only people he's cared for. Therefore, I persecute you. Mm -hmm. Because he gave us this law and told us, if you break the law, you're going to receive them judgments. Right? So, a key point and, and foundation to understanding this word is that this, that the Lord only gave his word to the 12 tribes of Israel. Right? So, that, that that's key. That So, by him giving his word just to the twelve tribes of Israel, that excludes all these other nations. Yep. So that means, you know, that means if a person comes in the word and he's been pushing the truth for a number of years, he prays to the Lord, he fasts, you know, he 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 he's he, he's charitable, you know, he he um, he um, gives alms. That means that man is an Israelite, man. Yep. Hey, um, I wanted to bring out the scripture. This is Hebrews because you got a lot of guys. In the spirit we're doing this video because I've got a lot of guys that will say to the different brothers that look um, such as myself, you know, they look like the they might look like Esau or they might look like the other nations, and they get yeah. they get a lot of stick, man. You know, yeah, a lot yeah. of um, a lot of these unbelievers, a lot of these motherfuckers out there. Yeah. Right. They're simple. They're simple, and, and they put these comments, you know, and they're trying to get those brothers down. But you know, this video is low and edifying because, hey, us brothers, man, you know, we believe, hey, we're we're here, we're pushing this truth, man. We yeah. the Lord has given us this understanding. And we believe in Yahweh Bashmi Al Shai. We're pushing the truth, we're going out in the highways and byways, yeah. making our, our bodies a living sacrifice. Yeah. yeah. But these guys, sorry. Yeah, no, no. Uh, yeah, but yeah, these guys yeah. have got the the, the, yeah. the nerve to have to come up against the men of the Lord, man. Yeah. That, are, that are, are putting their lives on the line for this, man. Yeah, that's it. You know, I had yeah. this quick precept. I'll yeah. get the guy again. Right. This is Hebrews chapter twelve, verse sixteen. Because a lot of guys say, "Oh, you know, why are you got Edomite in the camp?" Oh, this, Let, this look, says, man. look, man. I, look, man. I ain't trying to get too personal, but I, I, I'm with you, brother. A very good portion, you know, of the week, man. He's a Jake, man. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, it says, lest there be any fornicator or profane person as Esau, who for one morsel of meat sold his birthright. So Esau is a profane person. Oh, but however, however, though, don't forget, he sold his birthright. Mm -hmm. yeah? That's the act of, of not being faithful. Yeah. And that, that seed and that vibration is upon his seed. Yeah, that's why. That's why, uh, uh, like a cracker mat comes in the camp. It'd be like, I believe in Jesus Christ, and you're kind of staring at him like, nigga, you know, you, you know damn well you don't, man. But you, that's why the scripture says what the fool have said in his heart, there's no God, and the chief fool is Esau, his forefather, his forefather, his forefather was the chief fool. He just so easy said, look, man, look, man, I don't care if it's not finished cooking, man. You better pass me something. Then you know after that, you know, after that, um, he himself said, "What profit is his birthright?" Yeah. If I'm hungry, man. Yeah. And that word profane is outside of the temple, man. So how are you gonna have an Edomite come up into the temple, come up into the church? But then, but then again, who is the temple? That's right. The the temple are the saints of the most high. Yeah. Ye are his husbandry. You are his building. Yeah. Right? That's why that's why that third temple is us being raised up. 
So, so, so really, the actual temple is linked to a seed, which is the Israelites. Yeah. The, the actual temple is linked to a seed. The, 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 that, so, so, that, so the temple itself it, is exclusive, man. So you're not going to have no heathen, any heathen. You're yeah. not even going to have a heathen. You're not even going to have a heathen. Some Hamite. That might look like a straight up Jake. Okay, he could have the, the afro. Yeah. He could have the beard coming out like here. Yeah. You know, you know, he could be he, he be shining. He could put all the shine on. He but could you know have what? the shine on. But you know what? The spirit will reveal him. Like, he'll come up and he'll say certain things. Like, yeah. He might even be like, yeah, I believe. Yeah, then you might ask him something. You'd be having a conversation with him. And you just see the spirit will reveal him, man. Because this is the thing of the spirit. Yeah, like... T- t- the apostles always tell the um the story of uh, some um, Elamite that came came up in the school and the, and the, the ways he tell like look man this ain't for you and eventually it, it, he, he was cut and left anyway you know yeah. like you can't stay in this you can't stay in this world look look a spy that's over to tries to Israel after a while he he gonna get pushed out yeah so much more like a Hamite on post yeah can't. You know? Yeah, if you got a Can't. spy of our own people that, can, that the spirit's going to reveal, yeah. how much more he even? A he even, <laughs> standing there. Yeah, so, so some guy um, um, some guy called Ham. Yeah, Ham. Uh, you know? <laughs> some guy Ham, called Ham. Hamoud. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hamoud on post. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'd be like, the spirit going to push him out anyway, man. Yeah, yeah. It's, they, ain't, they ain't gonna come in, man. They're not. Look, there's hey, there's guys that come up, come in. There's one guy in particular that comes to my mind. Come up every week to the camp, and he's a tear, man. You know. Getting cursed out, man. He, he's like, he can't come in, man. That, that talk <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. You know, whoever yeah. he is, or like, you know, yeah, yeah, his talk, spirit yeah, is rejecting yeah, him, yeah, man. Yeah, you know? Yeah. But you got brothers out there that are pushing for years upon years, man, in this truth, man. <laughs> you were white. Yeah. You know, and, and you know, still like, what's it called, man? Even um, fucking IS UPK. IS UPK are so simple that if they even saw me, if they saw me, that I'm from, from, from Ghana, West Africa, they'll call me a Hamite, man. Because that's what happened with, with that small kid who mm-hmm. tried to come to the cookout. They're like, oh, no, you, no, you can't, man. He said, why? Be, yeah, because you're a Hamite. I got this one. This is um, Baruch 4 and 37, 36. Oh, Jerusalem, look about thee toward the east. And behold, the joy that cometh unto thee from, from God. Lo, thy sons come whom thou sentest away. They come gathered together from the east to the west by the word of the Holy One. Oh, man. Rejoiceth in the glory of God. <laughs> so, um, I mean, explain that, man. By the word. By the word. From the east to the west. So, 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 so that means so, so some guys in, um, in China... He, he, he's there, dark skin with a throw and a pick in his head. You know, you, you know. You, so you just see him. He's like, Shalom, man. Yeah, yeah. He's uh, in, yeah, in, yeah. in a in a fucking in fucking in, in Denmark. You just see him in Denmark with, with an Afro pick. You know, and his tip his tip to the side, so he yeah, proves yeah. his Jake. Shalom. <laughs> in um, in Kazakhstan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He he, he has a pick, but it's tipped to this side because he's in Ka- Kazakhstan. That's not. And he's like, Sh- Shalom. No. The sons of Israel, uh, a son of Israel is established by what? The seed of Israel. And he's scattered amongst all other nations. And he's lost his, his, his heritage. Hold on a second, hold on a second. In this day, right in this day, right in this day, 2018, in front of us, yeah? Do you see Jake, do you see men, yeah? Jake men go around and all they do is just pop up a, um, Jake women. Just a straight up black woman. Is that what they do? They just go around exclusive black women. Yeah. Hold on, why is there videos of black women here yeah, getting angry because Jake, Jake men are dealing with uh, or women of the other nations? Yeah. Or women look, looking like the other nations. They might be, uh, you know, Israelite foreigners themselves. Why are they getting angry about that? So hold on a second. If that's what's happening today, yeah, well, you don't think that wasn't, that wasn't happening back then when we were doing all them wars, yeah. you know, going into the, these different lands? So obviously, we just read it that the sea goes through the man. So you still got seed, you've got remnant left in all these different countries around the world where Jake's been at, okay? And they might not look like straight up, um, you know, um, they might not look like Shaft, man, to put it like that, man, okay? They might look like, um, you know, the different nations, but their seed goes back to Israel. And that's, and, and and you know what? That just shows that these guys are ignorant, man. 
Because the more that you just travel around and talk to people, the spirit, that means the spirit ain't dealing with him. Because what? Romans 8 says, yeah. the spirit itself bear of witness, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, you can just talk to uh, certain people and you just you, and the spirit is dealing, man. And you just know that, okay, that guy's an Israelite, man. Or you might do something a certain way. And you know that guy's an Israelite, man. Ah, uh, precept. This is First uh, Kings 14 and 21. And Rehoboam, the son of Solomon, reigned in Judah. And Rehoboam was 41 years old when he began to reign. And he reigned 17 years in Jerusalem, the city which the Lord did choose out of all the tribes of Israel. Wait, hold on. So... So Rehoboam was a king. Yeah. Yeah. He was um, he was in charge of the Israelites. Of that Judah. Point. Of Judah, right? So he was actually not just any old Israelite. He was, he a, was king a king. Yeah. Of Judah. <laughs> Go on, huh? To put his his name there, and his mother's name was Naamah, and Ammonites. Ooh. So his mom was an Ammonite man. Damn. So you telling me so you can have a a. a, a a half heathen, apparently, on the throne. That means it's all, that the whole purpose and the whole uh, uh, importance is based upon the seed of the man. Because we are only going to allow a king of Judah to be on the throne of Judah. Duh. Yeah. So. You ain't going to have no usurper up on the throne. Exactly. So that means where a person. So you know what? That means as well. Obviously, back then. They were were all dark skinned but his 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 characteristics had to be a bit different. Mm -hmm. But that means, guess what? The importance of his mum it wasn't important because his seed was being a part of the twelve tribes of Israel. That means, guess what? If he then went, if his son then went on to pop like, like a an Edomite woman. And his son's son went to pop up, you know, pop them, so on and so forth. His sons, over hundreds and hundreds of years, no matter how they looked, they would still be of the kindred and tribe of Judah. Let me read this out. Go ahead. This is uh, Ruth chapter 4, verse 13. So Boaz took Ruth, and she was his wife. And when he went, on, went in onto her, the Lord gave her conception, and she bare a son. Yeah. Now Ruth is a Moabite, Moabitess. Okay, but if you look into the lineage of what of, uh, of our Lord, of our Lord in Matthew, Boaz, is, Boaz is, in, is in the lineage, I believe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's the yeah. father of, of Jesse, I believe. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Let me, let me know, I'm gonna confirm he, that. He's the father, of, he's he's the father of, of, of of Jesse. You know, oh. well, who, who's the father of David? Yeah, uh, Matthew one and five, and Simon begat Boaz of Rachab, and Boaz begat Obed of Ruth. Oh, oh, bad begat Jesse. Yeah, so he, 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 he comes from that that line. Bad so comes he, from he, the lineage. He, 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 was, he, he was the grandfather of, of Jesse. Yeah. So so he was the great grandfather of David. So even royalty was doing that back then. So, the so royal lines were doing that. That's it. So remember, that, remember, the scripture says King 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 King, King Solomon had three hundred wives and seven hundred concubines, man. Yeah. No. But guess what? If he, he, if he had sons that came from heathen, it still didn't matter. Yeah. Because they were Israelites anyway. And, and important for, for people to understand, part of part of our curses was being scattered. Yeah. You know, I, I, I'm, I'm a, I'm a, I'll get that. Right? Because, so when the scripture says, we, we were scattered, that ain't speaking about, yeah, man. So everyone's just going to be, Scattered, and be like, I ain't dealing with no white woman. Yeah, you know, <laughs> I, I ain't dealing with no more white. Yeah, she's looking at that woman, all, looking all fine, yeah. and uh, uh, bringing up that water from yeah, the yeah. well and all and that. And after you like, no, we just no, 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 man. Come on, man. This is um. Hold on, wouldn't, wouldn't, <laughs> didn't Ezra make a big problem and yeah, yeah? By you know, they were just calling all the you know, there was about the heathen women and all that. Yeah, so yeah. that means that Jake was dealing with the heathen women. Yeah, like. The, uh, the 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 uh, the the priest, uh, I believe, Nehemiah, which was which around the same time as Ezra, like he had to like cuss out some priests because mm -hmm. what 
Jake did, which is the same thing as those, those sons of God mm -hmm. in Genesis. Mm -hmm. Jake got up all into the culture, innit? Mm -hmm. You know, Jake, Jake, Jake's, um, so says, I believe he actually got upset because you, you had Israelite kids that did, did, didn't understand Hebrew like that. Mm. So he was pissed off because, you know, Jake you got, the culture Jake got up in the culture, yeah. you know, oh, oh, babes, you know, then then his son would have would have grown up and worshipped their other gods. So, 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 so the only problem was that the scripture says we, we can't go and marry them. Mm. Like, uh, 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 and I ain't talking about like in terms of sex. That, that's like, you know, sex in terms of like. They, they, you get all up into their culture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like how the the sons of God became apostates by going into the into the door, you know, into, into the doors of men. Jake, 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 Jake got comfortable after he was getting head. Yeah. Right. Got all all kind of simple and and, and got all up into their culture, man. You know. Can can. So, you can deal with heathens. That's cool, but don't don't marry them. Get up all into the culture, so then doing shit doing, yeah. because you remember, you, 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 if you have a family, that's preparing for the future. You, 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 so if you have a son who's a Jake, but he, he, he's a um, praying to fucking like Baal or, or Dagon or whatever, he's gonna pass it on to his son's son, and yeah. over a period of time, Jake gonna start thinking that you're even man. Yeah, you know. I have the precept on a scattering door. This is uh, Luke 2, 2, um, Leviticus 2, 26 and 33. And I will scatter you among the, the heathen and will draw out a sword after you and your land shall be desolate and your cities shall be waste. All right? So, 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 so that scripture is there to the point. Right? So our people got scattered among them. Now, Again, so when our people got scared, they took onto the, to, to the ways and cultures of the heathen. And over time, they became to, to look as the heathen. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Go ahead, you got a This is uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 7. Do ye look on things after the outward appearance? If any man trusts to himself that he is Mashiach's, let him, let him of himself think this again. That as he is Mashiach's, even so are we. In Yahusha Mashiach. So, if a guy's you know coming up on the boards and he's saying, "Okay, I'm an Israelite. I believe in you know the law Yahusha and all that," but then you're cursing out a man who also believes with you, yeah? Okay, because of his outward appearance, then that means that you're not of Yahusha, man. Okay, because the spirit that clearly you're not dealing with you then. Because if you got a man that's going preaching to, according to the word, to to, to the truth, the doctrine, he believes. Okay, he's living his he's living his life according to his belief. Then that means that man, that man is, is of Yahweh Shai, man. Okay? But you're coming up against that. That means that you're, you're not of Yahweh Shai, man. You're anti Mashiach, anti Mashiach, man. Okay? And for that, that's something that you're going to get destroyed for. You had something up? Or should I get Corinthians? Yeah. Right. This is uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 51. Behold. Yeah, actually, um, let me get. Jeremiah, no, Ezekiel, eleven and sixteen. This is Ezekiel and eleven and sixteen. Therefore, thus saith the Lord, Power, although I have cast them far off among the heathen, and although I have scattered them among the countries, yet will I beat them as a little sanctuary in the countries where they shall come. Mm. So. So, so this truth is a small sanctuary, right? Mm -hmm. So the scripture says, although that they they have been scattered amongst all these countries, I will be to them as a little sanctuary in the country they shall come. So does that mean if we have a small sanctuary of our brothers in Kazakhstan, that everyone going to be just dark? If we have a small sanctuary of of, of, of brothers in 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 China, does it, look. There's over a billion people in China. I guarantee you, you have a, a, san a sanctuary there of the elect. If you got a small sanctuary in 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 uh, in, 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 in 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 fucking Persia, you know, or, or in Iran, you know, are you saying that basically everyone's going to be dark skinned? Because the scripture says, 
the law is going to be a, a little sanctuary to them in the country they shall come. You, you, you telling me it's just going to be a supreme <laughs> coincidence that in every country they're going to be just dark skin with, with flaws and picks just tipped to the side. No. Therefore, that save the Lord power. I will even gather you from um, from the people and assemble you out of the countries where you have been scattered. Mm -hmm. And I will give you the land of Israel. And they shall come, come thither. And they shall take away all the detestable things thereof and all the abom ab 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 abominations from thence. Now the, abon the um, abominations are what? The abominations from the heathen. Taken onto their culture, learning their language, and looking as them. Yeah, you know. Hey, uh, can I just say this? If I couldn't, hey, if I didn't know that I was an Israelite, I would have just continued in the abominable things I would have done, as we would all. Bro, man, if I didn't know I was an Israelite, bro, I'd be doing the same thing. That's it. Bro, I'd be calling myself, for myself, uh, uh, like a Ghanaian, man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like me, you know, during the time I was growing up, man, I was eating crab, snail, shrimp. Yeah. Uh, Awesome. That's yeah. what we was doing in Ghana. I was eating, uh, well, I was eating what, you know, all manner of like, what, prawns. I was eating um, oysters. Oh uh, yeah, fucking oysters. I was eating um, blither. Yeah. You know all these. I was things. getting. I was. I, I was back. I was. I was. I was getting in and pork ribs, man. Yeah. yeah but that's dude. not. That's not. That's not Hebrew Israelite culture. That's not Hebrew, Hebrew Israelite culture. Yeah. So when you wake up to the truth of who you are, then you. <laughs> Then obviously you start to behave as who you are, who you always always was, you yeah. know. But when the Lord opened you up to, to, to you know to who you are, man, shed that light on you, man. That's it. Lay it out. Uh, this is First Corinthians chapter fifteen, verse fifty-one. Behold, I show you a mystery: we shall not all sleep. Now, here's the key point. Here's the key point because the point that we're trying to trying to establish is this: just understand and bear in mind in the kingdom of heaven, all Israelites. Are going to be changed starting off with with you let mm -hmm. and those who are born through you let are just going to be changed either way because they're going to come back yeah. like perfect in yeah. like worth of flesh so go ahead but we shall all be changed we shall all be changed so so does that mean that means if a person is you know looks like this this brother over here if this brother is of the let right he's going to be changed and i'm going to go too far into it but there was a Brother in a cap, he actually had a dream about, you know, us once. Mm -hmm. And this brother in the dream had dark flesh. Mm. That's the spirit. Mm. You know? Just as this 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 this, this, this brother Kyle by his, his chick, you know, had a dream yeah. of being changed to the kingdom. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And she looks like a so called white woman too. Yeah. That's not by a, a coincidence, you know? The, the 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 spirit has things come out how it's supposed to come out. Yeah, this is about who believes, man. Who believes? This is about who who's been given to. That's what it's about, man. I, and you know, I can you know, that that pisses us off, man. When you guys do that, but you know what? Ultimately, you don't really affect us like that because we know what the truth is, man. Yeah, we know that there's guys out there that are just built to be scoffers. You built to get destroyed, man. Yeah, you're actually built to get destroyed. You know? Yeah, he was actually made and fashioned to just to just. <laughs> to swallow a missile. Yeah, I, hey, I don't want people to think that we're doing this video because it's all emotional. No, we're no, doing, it's not we're emotional. Doing it onto edification. Oh man. yeah, yeah, yeah. We're doing it onto edification to boost the faith of the, also to boost the faith, boost the faith of brothers out there that don't look, you know, straight up. Okay, Jay. Then you know, for them to 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 in, increase in faith, man. For them to you know increase in confidence in Yahweh Bash and Shai. You know. Mm -hmm. Keep going up. Come on. It says, in a moment. In the twinkling of an eye, yeah. at the last trump, for the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall all be changed. We shall all be changed. So, so why does our skin color like so? So, so why well, why does our skin color now matter if we're all going to be changed? Yeah, that's a serious question to ask, and and go to Isaiah eleven. Yeah, that's the key question to ask. Why would our skin color matter? If we're all going to be changed. Yeah, no, but like, if you ain't black. No, 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 no. It's just, it's just melanin, man. Yeah. In, that king, in the kingdom, we're going to be melanated. All of us. You know, that, with that perfect glow, we're going to be glowing and all that. Glowing. Everything's going to be right. Women are going to have that long, luscious hair. See. All that. 
You know, we're going to have all those beautiful things, man. Okay? Yeah. We're going to be glowing. Not even going to have no blemishes and all that. Everything's going to be just glowing, yeah, man. man. You know? Perfect. In perfect health, well-being. Yeah. We're going to have all that. But we don't have that on this side. All, this, on this side, there's confusion and face, man. Bruv, you've got people who are dark-skinned that are scoffers on YouTube. And you've got people who look white who are pushing the word. So, if this man looks so-called white and he's pushing the word and... You're a scoffer, and you're 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 dark skin. That means a, a so-called heathen is doing doing more of the work t- than you are. Yeah. So what are you doing? So 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 what are you doing? And the funny thing is, hey, hey there's a parable of the wheat and the tares. Yeah. Why is there a parable about that? The angels are going to come and what? They, there's going to be a, there's going to be a separation, man. You know. Uh, this is Isaiah chapter eleven, verse eleven, and it says, "And it shall come to pass in that day that the Lord shall set His hand again the second time." To recover the remnant of his people. Uh, that's why I said in Ezekiel, in the countries where they shall come. Yep, yep. Yes. Oh, in the c- countries of who? The countries of the heathen. Right, right. In the countries of the heathen. Yeah. Do you remember the scripture says the 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 the, 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 the captive exile, he hasteneth that he may be loosed. So essentially, every Israelite it. Is among the heathen because we ain't in our land. Yeah. Hey, well, check this. Even um, like for example, Turkey and Greece as an example, right? A lot of that was land was uh, at one point was controlled by what the Ottoman Empire. You had the Edomites all up in there. But even going back before that, you had Jacob all in there. Thessalonica. Yeah. You had Tarsus. Okay. You had Troy. That's all up in Turkey, man. Okay. So you had a lot of Jacob up in there. And that's all in the scriptures. Hey, hey, the Apostle Paul was going to Athens, man. Yeah. To the, to the temple of the Jews in Athens, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? In Babylon, even it speaks about in um, Acts 2, they came Jews, to, to the um, devout men from every every people under heaven. Yeah. Now, guess what? They discontinued. They eventually, their sons discontinued from their heritage. And they were still dwelling in, 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 in those lands. Yeah. So, so, that, so that I mean, yeah, no, yeah, but like, no, not but, no, but nothing. Yeah. And it says, for this corruptible, sorry, Isaiah 11, Salakia. Back in Isaiah 11, it says, the remnant of his people which shall be left from Assyria, from Assyria, and from Egypt, from Egypt, and from Pathros, from Pathros, and from Cush, from Cush, and from Elam, from Elam, and from Shinar, from Shinar. And you know what? That about Elam, hey, there's this one guy that I ran into. I used to go to school with him. Okay, I ran into him. He was telling me that I watched the videos and blah blah. Yeah. Yeah. He said that, and I said, oh, I said, cool man, you know, it's all good and all that. He said, but listen, I'm, he said, I'm a Muslim. I said, okay, that's what you believe. You know, we went back and forth for a bit and that was it, right? But you know, one thing he told me, he said he ran into one group. I believe he he described them as ISUPK, all black and all that. He said, yeah, they were Israelite group and they just, they said I was a I was a, um, an Ishmaelite, right? And I said to him, there ain't no spiritual discernment there, man. The guy's clearly a Jake, man. Yeah. He's from that Pashtun area. Okay, I've done a research into them guys. A lot of them go back to Jake, okay? And he was, I was like, I knew, I said, man, I said, I told him, look, man, you're a Jake, man, you know? You're an Israelite, man. You know, you got really got to get down with this, man. You know, before yeah, the yeah. time is short. You really got to get down with this. Yeah. You know, and he was like, you know, he was hearing certain things that like respect, and he, he was kind of respectful still. And I said, you know, and if the Lord has his has his will, then he'll he'll get it and he'll come into the fold, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. says, and look, man, like even me in school, man. There was a guy, man, like a, a so called Jew, and every and in school, man, everyone used to <laughs> curse him out being a so called Jew, right? But then. As we got got you know you know up in age and older, this guy has braids and plays plays like fucking basketball good, and all his friends are niggas. Come on, man. he has. I'll, I'll show you a picture. I'll yeah, try yeah. and find it after the video. I'll right, show right, you. Right, right, right. The Jake got braids, man. Yeah, yeah. And plays the basketball good. Look, we, and he all he hangs around with Jakes. We went. We wait. We grew up in school in London. And in school, he was funny cat, man. We grew up in school in London. Didn't we always see there was always, there was hey there was always those Israelite foreigners that hung out with all the Jakes, man. Yeah, yeah, man. Because friends... they were Jakes, man. Yeah, man. I had friends who were Turkish. Yeah, yeah. I, I had friends who were who were fucking East Indian. Yeah. Man, man, I had friends. I had friends from all the nations, man. Hey, all my friends in my area when I was growing up playing football around the, around the block. Yeah. Were all Jake, man. And yeah. we even had one Algerian guy, and he used to hang out with us as well. And one of my good friends. Man, he was a straight. You know these Algerians. A lot yeah, of them yeah. are Jake, man. Yeah, fuck it, a bunch of uh, Benjamites, man. Yeah, man, I, and it was just I was just growing up with Benjamites, 
and Judas, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, um, yeah, that's pretty much, man. West Coast and, and um, you know, yeah. Ghana. Yeah. I had one guy I remember from uh, Congo. This guy was a straight Jake from Congo. Yeah. You know? You had a, some Rasta. <laughs> right. You know, we ate all around the air. We were all in the same what? We were in the ghetto, man. Under the curses. Under the curses. Which is a sign for, for, for who we are. There you go. There you go. Wait, ho- ho- wait hold on. What do you, what wait, do you hold, guys hold, know, hold on, man? hold on, hold on. You know what that also means then? If people are trying to say being an Israelite is based on your skin, that means that this one if you go and pop a chick that's white and you have a son that's mixed race, and then you have a great, 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 great grandson that looks white. That means, theoretically speaking, you can escape the curses by just making sure that your sons and sons' sons mm-hmm. all have kids mm-hmm. with people who look white. Because if being an Israelite is based upon your dark skin and your dark hue, that means you can theoretically escape the curses by just popping fucking Edomite chicks and making sure that them kids look white. So are you saying that we can escape the curses then? Hey, you know the thing about these guys as well, yeah? They're really, you're, you are what I call entry-level stumblers, right? You I don't, know? man, these guys are in the grave, man. You, you heard, I don't think they have had a chance to stumble. They might have heard that the Lord, you know, they might have heard the Lord is a so-called black man. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you hear that? Yeah, yeah. Blah, blah, and all that, yeah, right? All that stuff. And then this is it, you know. Then this, <laughs> I remember that one rasta that came from Tottenham up to the camp, man. Oh, he was looking at me like, like he wanted to do yeah, something. Yeah, he was looking at you here like he wanted to chop your head off, man. Yeah, man. I'm like, bro, what's, what's going up, on? Are we we in unison here? What's going on, man? Yeah, I remember that. that do you remember that guy? Bob McClure, right? And see that, and it wasn't made for them guys, man. Yeah, because they, they they stumbled, man. See, you know, they start in hey, back when the apostles and elders in the old school. Yeah, mm-hmm. plus around up. You know, a lot of guys um, stumbled with things, man. You know, the, what the Cornelius issue is a big issue in the spirit. Well, that's a big thing in the spirit, man. Yes, it is. You know, uh, it says, and from Elam and from Shinar and from Hamath and from the islands of the sea. And guess what? <laughs> um, Hamath is in Syria, man. Mm. It's 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 not it's now called um, Hamas, but it's it's the same place. So, so that means you, you got you know them guys getting b- b- bumped to smear reason in Syria. Yeah. You got you got people who are Israelites among them. Didn't we go into an Assyrian captivity? Went, yeah. So how are they gonna look? Yeah. You know, come let come, 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 let's be real. And and like some of these Jays, I want to ask them a question. Yeah. If your ass popped a, um, a, a, a Jake bird. Whose skin is very his light skin. If your son comes out looking almost white, yeah. So, uh, so is your stupid ass going to say, "Nah, this guy's not Israelite." Is that your, to your own, own son, grandson? To your own grandson. <laughs> you ain't an Israelite boy because you don't look like one. That's the, what's kind Niggas of, are stupid. You don't know man. about seed. Well, that's why it goes back to Romans. Because guess what? The, the seed is linked to the spirit. Because you know oh. why? Because of the curses, we can't prove. Prove our heritage. Yeah, this continued from my. That's what it's saying in Jeremiah seventeen and four. I, 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 I'm not sure if that's a scripture I already read. Yeah, yeah, but yeah I don't think you've read. I think I think I, I think I brought it out, but like, I typed it in, but I didn't read it. Let me read this last verse while you find it. Uh, it says, "And it shall set up, yeah. and it shall set up an ensign for the nations, and shall assemble the outcasts of Israel." Who who the outcasts? You know what? Let me go into that word, the outcasts. But but, but but go ahead. And gather together the dispersed. Of Judah from the four corners of the earth. From the four co- yeah, but they're all, yeah. they're all black, man. I was going to bring up a quick quick point as well, you know, because you mentioned Assyria, Hamas and, Hamas and all that. We had our people up in that captivity. Well, check this out. Over in the south the south part of America, okay, you got the, what they call the Bible Belt. You got these guys walking around looking like crackers, but actually, a lot of those guys are Jakes, man. Why do you think they're so heavy into the Bible? A lot of them guys are Jakes, man, okay? That's because, hey, Jake was all up in, the, up in there, man. You know, uh, putting in that seed. Find what you're looking for. Yeah, it really says the same thing. Can't. Outcast. Yeah, can. Can. But anyway, let me, let, let me go. Said, hey, what? He said, he said to be pushed violently. Yeah. <laughs> Violence through the sword. Yep. Through captivity. Yeah. You know? But what happened in, what happened in 70 AD? We were, scattered into we were the pushed nations. out. What? Violently. Violently for, for, for all the nations. And we became outcasts, man. Yeah. 
This is um, Jeremiah 17 and 4. And thou even thyself shalt discontinue from thy heritage that I gave thee. And see, our heritage is knowing who, who we are and, and our land. Right? So, so we just discontinued from, from everything. We didn't know our heritage, and we just didn't even, we didn't even understand our land. And I'll cause you to serve thy enemies in a land which thou knowest not. For you have kindled the fire in my anger, which shall burn forever for a long period of time. So our people were prophesied to discontinue from my heritage. So we, 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 realistically speaking, there is no Israelite on the planet who can prove that they are an Israelite by showing the, 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 the birthrights of records. That's why it's based upon faith. This is Romans 8 and 16. The Spirit, which is the Word, John 6 and 63, bear witness with our spirit that we are the children of God. Because guess what? We vibe with the Word. Mm. This Word sticks with our vibration. And guess what? In, in, in Deuteronomy 28, it says, These curses shall be upon us for a sign and a, a sign on who we are. Oh, I love it. you got to love this Word. Yeah, of course. you got to love it. You can't be... Well, I agree with this. you got to love this Word, man. If you can imagine... The, 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 the kingdom of heaven and believe in it then you're an Israelite man mm -hmm. if you're at camp on the post and you be like look man one day probably this is going to be a dream you're an Israelite man if, if you if, if you believe that the, the, the RFID chip is the mark of the beast mm -hmm. and you believe upon the names of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai then you're an Israelite man I even bring that scripture to prove that go ahead up Hey, well, one of the brothers was bringing out something one of the elder brothers said, and um, it was basically like about these Edomites, right? You observe all these different nations, now they all got their they all got their gods, right? Even gods. And if you observe Edomites today, they believe that then they themselves are, are god, man. They believe in that science that you know all you know the scientific theories of things, the Scientology, the uh, we did this, we create that, or uh, evolution and this and that. Really, they believe that they're the most high, man. You know that, but if you even if you go to what Moab, you go to you go to Elam, what they got, they, 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 they got their own little gods and the right. things, yeah. Buddhas and things that they bow down to. Yeah. Even the heathens, yeah, even they got the their idols that they bow down to. Yeah. Esau don't have that. Esau don't believe, man. He don't believe, man. Esau don't believe in himself, man, and his gun and that's his sword. Why, that's why he's. That's why he, it says that he tries to be like the most. He tries to be like the most high. That's why he's got the highest pride, man. That pride needs to be brought down, man. See, you know that's why he's at the end of the world. <laughs> I have a precept. This is um. It says, so this proves to call upon the name, you have to be an Israelite. Ooh. Second Ezra three and thirty four. Weigh thou therefore our wickedness now in the balance, and there's also that dwell in the world. So shall thy name nowhere be found but in Israel. Yeah. Dreadful among the heathen. So shall thy name nowhere be found but in Israel. So if this brother right here is calling upon the name. Of your how about Shemel Shah with faith? And it's about Israelite. If I'm doing it, it means I'm an Israelite. Yeah. And faith. That's a hey, that's a heavy vibration, the name, man. It says, or oh, when was it that, that they dwell upon the earth have not sinned in thy sight? Or oh, what people have so kept thy commandments? Thou shalt find that Israel by name have kept thy precepts, yeah. your word, but not the heathen. Yeah, man. It's in our spirit, man. But not the heathen. Yeah, even Romans 2. Even when we're in a heathen like St. Maya, we're still doing certain things. That's in the scriptures. So, so if a person going to come in the truth, get up in a vibration, mm -hmm. do the work. Man, what the hell do you want, man? A man's paying times. Man's, he's giving arms. He's out the camp doing the work, pushing the videos. Do what you got to do. In season, out of season. In season, out of season. Cold, hot. Hot, cold. Yeah. But, he, he, but yeah, you he, he might do. But you can come on the comment boards and say, you know, who's you the man? You, man, what have you done for the Lord? Yeah. What have you done for your salvation, man? Niggas are ridiculous, man. Yeah, yeah man, but, you know, hey, man, if you don't see it, that's cool, man. Because it means you're going to be destroyed, man. That's right. Because the scripture says, uh, in, in um, Isaiah 6, hey, Lord, uh, um, I mean, how long are these guys going to be, be uh, blind? You know what he said to him? Mm. Until those cities be wasted <laughs> by inhabitants. So that's what's going to happen, man. Look, mm -hmm. look, man. The scripture says, Who who shall, shall despise the word shall surely be destroyed. So if you don't see it through the spirit, that's okay, man. Because it means you're going to be destroyed. Right? You got a precept? Yeah, that's cool. All right, man. So with that, we're going to say, Oh, praise be to Yahweh. 
Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shai, Bashem, Double honors, pluses, and others, a great most on. With that, we go say, Shalom. Shalom.